Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is another BBP mod, which stands for Base Building Plus Guide. Uh, because all the other guides which I found on YouTube are not relevant anymore due to updates to the game and to the mod itself. Just as you know, the mod is currently very WIP and uh, developers are releasing the fixes and uh, updates very frequently and they're changing uh, the systems heavily currently. So uh, if you're watching this like uh, a long time after upload, maybe the recipes will be already outdated so keep that in mind and always check the current recipes and current change logs on uh, official page on steam for this mod base building plus again so this mod from my perspective is a game changer and it allows you to basically go with the custom base building in DayZ. You can build anything, you can build towers, you can build garages, you can build whatever you want, basically. Uh, this mod has a quite steep learning curve, so that's why the guide is needed. Otherwise, at first I was so much frustrated and confused because nothing worked. As it should work as you think so but it didn't and um, yeah let's begin so this mod introduce um, a lot of different materials for base building and actually on my server we have a custom trader for uh, base building materials only okay uh majority of things you can just find in the world you can craft or just if you don't bother just go to the trader and buy everything except the cement mixer the cement mixer is the uh unique item uh it's actually static item you cannot buy it you cannot remove it uh you cannot move it it's fixed in the world and uh, you can only find it in certain locations the locations are all will be uh, attached to the description section so you can check the map and the photos and figure out where where the hell you will find these uh, cement mixers uh, th this is current limitation as of now because maybe uh, in the future devs will be making this like a purchasable item but currently you can only find this in certain industrial areas where you will bring all your materials your battery and whatnot and you will be using it there and then you will be getting all the bricks out and <laughs> full of bricks uh going to your base it's i mean it introduces the certain element of um of danger additional danger to the game because you could be killed or whatever on your way so yeah this is the thing now uh okay let's start from the basics so first of all you will need the um um the workbench the workbench you can you can you can purchase uh, from the trader or uh, you can just build it yourself okay so to build workbench you need uh, one wooden lock and five planks let's take this And five planks. Okay. 
Yeah, if, if you have enough materials in your hands, you will uh, see the prompt craft workbench. This is what we need. This is all in real time and it could be very boring, but probably you would return because you will be getting confused uh, with the mod. So anyhow, you have to learn all these things and uh, it will help you to, to get better. Okay, so now we have our workbench. We can take it to hands. We can place it anywhere we want. Let's place it somewhere here. Okay. Okay, so now we have a workbench. Uh, it takes certain materials. You will be crafting uh, different kits here. Uh, but currently it's not workable you, you cannot do anything with it what you need is a blueprint so, so the blueprints could be found in the world also you can buy it from the trader uh, but I have one here so let's place the blueprint over over here yeah now if you press K on PC you will be getting this um, this uh, list of items which you can build on the workbench okay so in order to build anything at all you need a kit so the kits are have three tiers the first tier is wooden kits right the second tier is uh, metal kits and the third tier is concrete uh, I I cannot really tell the difference right now because on my server the uh, base destruction is disabled so it really doesn't matter which one you use but the visual uh, quality is different for each kit okay so you have different types of kits so the wall kits, door kits, floor kits etc uh, ramps, foundation kits, gates kits so the door and the gate is different because the gate is like wider uh, I mean it, this is for garage 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 whatever I cannot say uh, and um, yeah so you you can put your car in there but for the door kit it's like only for men uh, floor hatch kit this is uh, if you build a hatch in the roof and uh, this is basically like a like a ceiling with the uh, with the hole inside okay uh stairs kit where is it stair kit a uh, stair kit currently is only t1 uh and it's like uh it, it looks not so good really and uh, it requires so many space inside your base but this is how it gets currently Maybe it will be updated soon, so so we will improve. So in order to build anything, you have to put materials here. Let's take some nails. Where are my nails? Let's take some nails. Okay. Put it here. Let's take some uh, metal sheets. Put it here. Again, wooden logs. And planks. And planks. Okay. So now we are ready for crafting our first kit. Uh, so basically you will need foundation first on top of the foundation you will need the floor kit and then you will go with walls, roof stairs, gates, whatever you want uh, but each, I mean, each tile which you build requires one kit so in order to build base like uh, 2x3 you will need 6 kits right um, 
the first and very important thing is foundation and foundation could be very frustrating because if you like let's create let's create okay something like wooden kit okay we have this kit now foundation kit so let's try to place it and so basically it looks like this you can place it okay so once it's placed you can if your hands are empty you can disassemble if your hands are full with something disassemble prompts disappears so it could be also frustrating keep this in mind um yeah so once it's placed you can take a hatchet or a shovel for t3 kits uh and just uh just just build it so where is it yeah so in the center if you press uh tab in the center you will get this list of materials which are required for uh for this type of um foundation okay so t1 foundation requires uh it requires it requires wooden planks one log and some nails i don't know the exact amount i don't remember just go to the list which is attached below and you will get all the materials needed for each of the tiers and each of the uh, each of the items okay so let's take this one log Ooh. Boom. Okay. Planks. Boom. Nails. Nails I have already. Oh no. Give it here. Okay. Nails. Okay, we are ready to go. We need a hatchet. Or a hammer or something let's take this one and we're ready to build so in order to build when the all the materials are attached you have to go go around the uh, this uh, ghost item and uh, and you have to find this prompt build wooden foundation okay okay our first foundation is done but it is done incorrectly and it wouldn't work why because in day z the majority of uh, ground is not level it's not flat the only flat surface i found the perfectly flat surface i found is on the runway on the airfield which allows you just to place foundations then then floors then walls and everything will be working great but <laughs> this makes no sense because the majority of the land is not flat and uh, due to limitations of this mod currently it does not allow you to build on uneven land this is very important because when you will try to place something on top of it it just it, it just don't work you can try it yourself but <laughs> it's it's just don't work everything is not aligned uh you have gaps between the walls and everything it's just so much frustrating and confusing uh pff, you wouldn't believe i spent so many time to figure out what to do and uh now i know so i will show you uh what do we need okay Okay, so now that we have the foundations in our hands, you may be wondering why the hell do I need the barrel? And the barrel here is the key object. So without it, you will not be able to build on uneven surfaces. 
uh, you can use barrel you can use anything you want just you need an object to snap the first foundation to this is very important without that you will not be able to build properly okay so we have our foundation in hand and now what we gonna do so this is default position right uh, and if you have an object here you would be able to snap on it and it would allow you to um, to basically build even on uneven surfaces okay let's actually try to uh, let's try to um, snap on, uh, on here oh yeah yeah definitely and we have a mushroom so you can use any any object to snap the first one uh just be sure to 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 build it on your level so you will be able to to hop on it <laughs> otherwise otherwise it wouldn't be possible to actually build it or just build a ramp on it snap the ramp on it and uh, you will be getting through the ramp okay so anyhow let's let's build on on the barrel okay so it doesn't matter doesn't matter how you will place the first one it all depends on you where are you building so i'm just randomly placing this one okay so this is our first foundation we can take out the barrel already let's place it somewhere outside of the area okay okay so so now we're building our foundation okay great so the first one is done and i'm stuck no uh the first foundation is done what you're gonna what you what you can do now you can build the other ones so like so press uh, left mouse button choose placement ah yeah so for building so for building once you have this ghost item uh showing on the screen you press b button and this is very important because this is the interface for building your uh, your items currently it's also very confusing uh, it's confusing and uh, you need to understand how does it work so first of all you have snapping and you have snapping lock uh, this allows you basically to snap new items to to any existing items you have uh, on the on the map okay existing i mean which belongs to uh bbp mode rest rotation helps you in cases where it snaps on a weird angle like uh, i will show you later uh roll pitch your rotation as of now it doesn't work or at least i haven't found any way to, to use that but basically if you are building square bases uh you will never use it okay so let's let's try to snap our second foundation to the first one and see how it works so back from here so basically it, it doesn't auto snap right it, in some cases it does when you have uh, more items but uh, in this case it doesn't so you have to do it manually so uh, turn your head down and look at the already built foundation and then press B and then press snap on so it snaps to to the build foundation but as you can see it snapped in the middle which we don't need uh, so we we press these buttons and basically what it does it, uh, it just rotates already snapped item new item with different different uh, different sides 
so you can choose what site you want to build this new item okay so in our case we will be building this site reset reset rotation doesn't doesn't do anything right now lock snapping also because the item is already snapped and uh, we can snap off as you can see as you can see yeah it's bugged I mean yeah so it's heavily work in progress so it's okay it's okay just just do it again snap snap and then choose ah yeah so here here you can see it snapped but it, it has weird, weird angle okay so we press reset rotation and uh, here you go it's uh, aligned perfectly okay so let's build it let's build it okay again to to actually build it you have to find the correct spot for um come on man oh, it doesn't want to jump come on man okay we have our second uh second foundation okay let's so on top of the foundation you need the floor let's get the floor kit somewhere have it here floor kit okay great so we take two floor kits this one we don't need anymore we take two floor kits and get back to our foundation come on man it's not that high please so again choose the placement in this case it snapped automatically which is perfect let's place it let's build it dismantle we don't need to dismantle yeah build metal floor okay great super next one Choose placement. Ah, yeah. See, in this case, it snapped to the previous one. So we pressing B, and then choosing the correct spot to build. In this case, the spot is incorrect. You see, we press on different sides, but it snaps to different locations, uh, which we don't want. So cancel that. Cancel that, and. Uh, with the existing foundation in our view let's press again like so press b snap on and now let's try no oh, you bastard why see so this is what i'm talking about okay let's try from the different angle okay let's do it like so oh we have zombie issues okay let's continue so um we are placing the second metal floor so in this case if you just go to foundation displacement b snapping on it will be snapped to to wrong locations if you move it like so you see it's it's snapping on the wrong locations what you need to do you have to snap it on the existing metal floor so let's cancel that Go to the floor, have our floor in view, B, oh, place first, B, snap, and here we go. Now we can finish this. Perfect. Okay. So we have our foundation and we have our floor built. It's perfectly even and you can continue building um your base so what i'm gonna do what i'm show you now i will um first ramp yeah so we will place one gate kit we will place one one ramp kit just 
just so you will see how does it work because also with ramps um, with ramps and stairs you will have the same snapping issues which I hope would be resolved very soon but for now I cannot tell so let's place the gate first okay so for example we, we want to place the gate here choose placement which huh? like so so here when you're placing walls you have more snapping options and you have to play with this where it you want it to go uh, but uh, be sure be sure to to uh, place it red side inside because the red means the inside of the gate so from inside you can dismantle it and from outside it's not possible uh, so be sh uh, may just uh, keep it in mind so let's place it okay let's build it build gate frame the frame first frame first then then left door okay right door okay this is our gate perfect okay great okay so now we want to build the ramp again take the ramp kit so ramps comes in two sizes the small one and the wide wide is for garages uh and the, the 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 narrow one is just for for your convenience to get to the base faster okay so as you can see the ramp uh does not snap correctly not the place we want okay let's try to fix that okay perfect so now it's uh i mean it's not perfectly even again this is the limitation of the mode so you can get stuck with your car sometimes not all the times but sometimes you can get stuck just uh, drive backwards and then uh, jump again forward so it will it will unstuck it okay let's let's uh, let's build it okay perfect so now we have a ramp and the gates cool okay uh what else yeah so for okay let's let's uh, make one more one more um let's make a door let's make a door So for each part you need a kit. So keep in mind how much materials do you need. Okay. Let's place a door, I don't know, somewhere, anywhere. Place, B, tick, tick, tick. Okay, so, eh, it's fine. Fine. Okay, place it. So first frame, then the actual door itself. And then uh, the outside shell. Okay, perfect. So we have concrete wall, we have a door. Everything is perfectly even, as you can see. Everything is even. Everything is properly snapped in place, so you can continue building from here, and uh, everything will be working fine. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, so in order to build concrete walls, you need a cement mixer to make bricks. So this is also very interesting process. So if you find the cement mixer sorry um 
it will not work it will not work so if you just approach it nothing will work <laughs> you need the cable the cable reel uh which have sockets and you need a truck battery or a car battery to you know the two operated to give it power you can use any power source like uh, solar uh solar panel uh, gasoline generator whatever battery so i'm using track battery in this case for the track battery you need to attach the metal wire which allows you to connect to cable reel so then you take cable reel plug it to track battery and cable reel connect to cement mixer and only after that you will have the switch on prompt here see so cement mixer takes concrete mix which also can be found on in the world or bought from the trader so once you place two concrete mix here you switch it on and here you go it's building the uh, uh, it's building um, concrete concrete bricks it will take about uh, I don't know five five minutes in real time uh, to make the bricks and uh, we will see after that how much you will take from from two cement mix load okay okay it's finally finished uh let's see how much made okay so from two cement mix bags you will get 15 bricks okay uh, it's okay but uh they're heavy so give me my hatchet back give me my hatchet back come on man please no ah uh, okay never mind so yeah it's quite heavy it will take some effort to uh, to move it around so yeah so these are concrete bricks this is how you make it and you will need these for any uh, concrete item you make either the kit or walls floors whatever okay so yeah this is basically it now a fun building basis i hope it would help someone to start and then the rest you will figure out yourself and uh, as per devs very soon as of start of january 2020 they will be fixing a lot of issues here so something could be changed so keep in mind and uh, take a look on change logs on uh, on the mod page in steam okay so cheers everyone thanks goodbye